It's the Rob Russell Show! They're the architects of action, marshals of amazement, and leaders in their, uh, field. I'm talking to two of the Super League's greatest captains ahead of their epic showdown. Please welcome Dancing Rasta from Super Strikers and Vladimir Savage from Grim MC. Nice to be here, Rob. Greetings, loud talk show mortal. So, what is the secret to leading on the pitch? Sorry to disappoint, Rob, but there are no secrets. Know your team, know your game plan, and lead by example. That's it. And how about you, Vlad? Ha <laughs> ha! Victory is a certainty when you can see into the very future. So, uh, can you tell me what I'm having for dinner tonight? Macaroni and cheese. Alone. Grimm's ancient powerful book allows me to see moves before they even happen. Behold! The power of the Tactonomicon! <laughs> I prefer to save my performance for the match. Welcome to Ferratuvia, home of Grim FC. <laughs> oh, cheesy! How dare you puny mortals mock the mighty Vladimir Savage! <laughs> Dude! Uh, Shakes, Grim just beat Iron Tank 4 0. <gasps> and Savage set up every goal. gonna have such an easy run against us. Yeah, even if Savage can tell the future, all he's gonna see is dancing Rasta, kicking his butt. <laughs> if we work together and stick to the game plan, we can put the scare into Grim. All right, guys, bring it in. Group selfie. Beautiful. You do know what group means, right? <gasps> on model students. Terry likes Jenna, but Jenna is kinda maybe into Bruce. Meanwhile, Maurice and Lawrence have declared their totally kinda maybe eternal love for Monica, leaving her torn and confused. Uh, I'm also confused about why you'd want to watch that show. Yeah, seriously, Klaus. Enough with the teen drama. Ha! Huh, model students isn't teen drama, Big Bo. It's a classic coming-of-age story about loving and learning in a college for supermodels. Also, I'm pretty sure Lawrence, the sportswear model, is based on El Matador. Meh, that guy's got nothing on the original. Turba selfie! What happened out there? No matter how strong you are, or sink you are, nothing can match the power of that infernal book. Super Strikers, welcome to the cauldron. I trust our facilities will be more than adequate for your preparation. Yeah, real state-of-the-art stuff. Kitchen. Dining area. Viewing room. And, most importantly, here is your practice pitch. The D field. Uh, Coach Belmont, dude? Don't you think we deserve a little better than the D field? Oh, don't worry. It's one of the best we have. D stands for dungeon. And finally, let me show you your living quarters. 
Did you know, in 16th century Peretuvia, it was considered fashion to have one's toilet in the bedroom? Listen up, boys. Turns out Grimm's performance on the pitch surpasses their performance off it. And Savage is at the center of everything they do. He orchestrates the play, dominates the midfield, and ensures goals for his teammates. <laughs> Whoa, the way he knew where the ball was going to be. And passed without even looking. Kind of seems like he really can, you know, see the future. Oh, no. Don't worry, Klaus. There ain't nothing supernatural about it. I'm not talking about Savage. Season four of Model Students ended on a cliffhanger. It's a graduation ceremony at Fashion University, and the students have to walk the catwalk to fetch their degrees. But Monica still can't decide if she kind of totally maybe loves Maurice, who may or may not be a vampire, or Lawrence, the sportswear model. Anyway, Maurice is doing his thing on the catwalk when Lawrence pulls a wooden stake out of his ponytail. Ah, <gasps> oh, come on, guys. It's a good show. What? You can never be too cautious. Yeah, I hear you, Coach. But are you sure you want to lock us in here? Whoa, kind of creepy, bro. That's kind of spooky. Savage is an outstanding midfielder, but he definitely can't see the future. When you know how your teammates play, thinking two or even three moves ahead isn't in the realm of the supernatural. One. Two. How do you see yourself getting past us, Cap? I don't. Three. Sorry, Shakes. Bad pass. Looks like I need to put in more practice. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That was amazing! Oh, yeah! yeah. 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 I'm so good I had you there, You did draw like yeah. three steps ahead. Yeah, bro. Boom! Back heel! <laughs> Good practice, dudes. Can't wait to take on Grim. Uh, uh, that, Shakes, is because you do not know the painful defeat that awaits you. And let me guess. You have foreseen it in the Tectonomicon! <laughs> <laughs> You're confident because you think Dancing Rasta can match me. But I can see five moves into the future with ease. Seems your captain cannot even manage three. Oh, El Matador, I think it is an appropriate time for a shocked selfie. Ah! <laughs> <sighs> How did Savage know about our training? Blog -a -blog -a -blog. But that humongo door was deadbolted. No way he could have seen us. It's got to be some kind of trick, right? But how is this possible? I've searched every model student's forum, read every fan theory, but no one knows anything. <sighs> the only way I could find out what happens is if I could see... <gasps> the future! The Tactonomicon! Nine! 
Non ah, ah. 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 Hmm. Uh, hmm? What are you doing? I'm looking for the Tactonomicon. It must be hidden in a secret chamber. <gasps> Just like Maurice's 300-year-old diary was hidden in his paternity castle glitter vampa vampa at Fashion University. Jenna Board accidentally was onto it when looking for Terry, huh? who may be a robot. I mean, no human can hold a pose that long. Hmm? Uh, El Matador? <sighs> it's a good show. Come on, coach. Two training sessions in one day? Complain to your captain. He requested it. He has something he wants you all to see. But Klaus and El Matador aren't here. <sighs> Anyone know where they went? I got this. Klaus totally kinda maybe wants to find out what happens in his silly teen drama. Meanwhile, El Matador tries to set the world record for the most selfies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Hmm? I think I'm finally ahead of the game. Forever and ever. Yeah, it's like the time in model students when Lucy. Silent selfie. I summon the mighty power of the Tactonomicon to peel back the curtains of time and reveal what happens in season five of Model Students! Huh? <coughs> Please reveal what happens in season five of Model Students! I don't get it. Meh. This is kind of like the time in Model Students when Eric... It isn't a good show, Klaus. That was close. Indeed. Just as well we saw them coming. Imagine the trouble it would have caused us if they'd found the book that really works. <laughs> Night at the Cauldron. Savage terrified Iron Tank with a dominant midfield display, Brenda. But the men in red aren't easily spooked, Mac. It's going to take something magical to win this one. And Grim may have just that. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you buy into that fortune-telling nonsense. Well, sometimes I commentate games so accurately, I wonder if I don't have the gift. <sighs> that is ridiculous. Eh? Who will triumph in the battle of the captains? captains? Stop it! Ooh! Scary foresight from the grim captain. Oh! He unleashes a monster shot! Close call for Super Strikers. Oh, wow. It looks like Dancing Rasta is giving Savage a taste of his own medicine. So close! Gasly left for Super Strikers. 
Super Strikers. Could it be that Dancing Rasta is also a... A really good player? Two can play this game. The half's almost over and there's still no score. The two captains are matching each other play for play. Drop the act, Savage. I've got you all figured out. Elegant mortal. Let me show you how real my powers are. Unbelievable! It's like Savage is everywhere at once. What? the strings for his team. And if it carries on like this, you don't need to be a fortune teller to know... Super Strikers are in... for a hiding. <laughs> We're getting pretty good at this. I convinced you guys I could lead you through this, and I let you down. Knowing the team, the strategy, it counts for nothing against Savage. Maybe he really can tell the future. So what? We don't care if he has eight legs and blows fire out of his nostrils. With you leading us, we can beat anyone, anytime, any place. You're the real deal. You're our captain. Team Huddle Selfie! Uh, don't worry, I'll get everyone in this time. Yo, give me that. No, I need to capture this special moment. And how amazing I look. Uh, what's that? Duh! The greatest player in the Super League. Ugh, no. That teeny, tiny thing in the background. What is that? Uh... And there it is again. Pablo? A drone camera? Savage can't tell the future. He's spying on us. So that's how he knew all that stuff about our training. But how does that explain his foresight on the pitch? Hmm, I think I know. Okay, Savage, here we go. No pass. 75 degrees left. Back here, then left. Triple 30 degrees left. <gasps> Watch out for! You still think you can match me? Huh. I've seen the future, and your whole world is about to come crashing down. What is Shakes oh. doing? Not even I can predict that, Brenda. Ah! <laughs> now, it's just you and me. I'll never find out if Monica chose Maurice or Lawrence. Ha! Huh. That's one future I'm happy we can't see. Uh-huh. Check it out, guys. Really? Hmm. 
thought Grimm would have learned a lesson by now. Let's shoot it down! Wait, 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 wait! It's mine! 360 degree group selfie! Bring it in, guys! Never mind, Grim FC. That's a scary face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm Agent 1. I'm Agent 2. From the Super League Disciplinary Board. How can I help you, gentlemen? I have a game to prepare for. Sorry, Coach, but you won't be making the game. Oh, really? And why's that? Your coaching license has expired. Can I deal with this later? I've got to prepare my boys for the... Super League Rule 8.43. Unlicensed coaches may not instruct their teams in any way. Now, if you'll come with us, sir. Hmm. Coach secured. On our way to headquarters. Coachman, where you at? Super League headquarters. My coaching license has expired. What? I have to redo the Super League coaching test before I can come to the game. <laughs> They're making you renew your license? I thought Coach was born with one. Yeah, I mean, even the other coaches call you Coach. Uh... And the game plan for Iron Tank? Yeah. 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 Kind of need that, coach. <sighs> I'm not allowed to give you any advice. But what I can say is, this is all just a flash in the pan. Don't let it drive you crazy. You're in good form. Sorry I'm beating around the bush. I gotta go. I'll call you as soon as I'm done. But the game is starting in... <gasps> Welcome to Super League Headquarters. Maybe it's just as well Coach is banned. Because that was the worst motivational speech I've ever heard! Made no sense at all! Hmm, maybe it wasn't meant to. So what? It was like a code or something? Flash in pan, drive you crazy, in good form, beat around bush. Flash, drive, in bush! All right, applicants, please state your name and motivation for taking the coaching test. Hi, I'm Helena. And I want to become the greatest Super League coach ever. And crush all who stand in my way! <laughs> mm hmm Next! Uh, hello there. I am Norman. Or Norm. Or whatever you want. <laughs> <clears throat> I am here because of my aptitude for tactical innovation. And finally... Sir? Hello? I'm Coach. <gasps> and I'm here because I have a game to win. Anyone have any luck? Nice. Coach.
researchers come up with three ways to get past Iron Tank's defense. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, coach. Hmm. But we need someone with natural coaching skills to interpret these tactics. Move aside. <laughs> Follow these squiggly lines and watch out for the big X's. They look dangerous. Ah! Seriously, oh, dude. Helpful, El Matador. Guys, El Matador isn't wrong. Those X's are the most dangerous thing in the Super League right now. Colonel Von Push-Up's troops have been blending the league's best attacks with their new defensive formation. It's gonna take a stroke of genius from Coach to win this one. But the first thing he needs to do is actually show up for the game. What could possibly be more important than this? Today, we will be testing if you have what it takes to be a Super League coach. And the fact that I've won the trophy three times doesn't count? The rules are the rules. I must say, coach, I'm surprised you let your license expire. As far as I know, I didn't. Stop right there, sir. You do know my team is playing right now. How am I supposed to follow the game? I sympathize, Coach. Really, I do. But... <sighs> the rules are the rules. Super Strike is on the attack. But they have to find a way through the ultimate defensive formation. Two lines of giant mountain men. The Iron Curtain. Strategy one. We play a one to around the Iron Curtain. from Super Strikers. But not sharp enough to cut through the curtain. Colonel Von Push-Up wins the first round of the tactical battle. Not too hard when your opposite number doesn't show up. Making the right tactical choices at the right time wins matches. In your first test, you must adjust the formation of your team to outmatch computer-generated scenarios. These will be a challenge even for you, Coach. Done. <laughs> huh? Excellent work. Now, let's try a slightly more difficult scenario, shall we? Oh, right again. How about... <laughs> Got anything else? He's gone through all of them. What's next? I feel like just being around him has made me a better coach. Do you think you'll sign my face? Super Strike is on the attack again! Can they do better this time? Strategy 2! We chipped a ball over the Iron Curtain. Again, this looks promising for Super Strikers. <laughs> ah! But once again, the Iron Curtain closes in their faces. Looks like Coach got some intel to his team. He didn't prepare for this. Don't worry. Without him here to call the shots, it's curtains for Super Strikers. The second test puts you up against one of the most cunning and devious forces in football, the press. 
Somehow it did it. One moment, please. I've forgotten my new password. Have you tried one, two, three, four? Or password. I always use password. You did switch it off and on again. Hmm. Not the kind of security protocol you'd expect at Super League headquarters. Yeah, something is up. What do you mean? To make it as a coach, you need three things. Motivation, tactics, and gut instinct. And my gut feels worse than when I ate that egg sandwich I found on the striker bus. <laughs> it was a tactical risk. Now listen up. I've got very little time to work out what's going on here. I could really use a couple of assistant coaches. <gasps> okay, sorted. Who's first? Norman. Question one. You're about to face Invincible United. How do you plan to deal with Skara? I have a, um, couple of ideas. I would use deep-lying center halves to stop Scar from getting in the space behind the defensive lines. Then, my inverted wingbacks would cut out danger from the wide areas. When Scar is forward, the wingbacks are back. When Scar is back, the wingbacks are forward. Understand? Great. Now, uh, stage two is where things get a little more complicated. So, you want to tell me what's going on? I don't think my license expired by chance, but I need proof. You're in good form? I'm beating around the bush? It just doesn't make sense. Stop obsessing about it. It isn't your job, Agent One. And where are we going to find this proof? Security footage. Something tells me that the test doesn't entirely prepare one for being a coach. You have no idea. Oh. <laughs> hmm. We need to find an access card. Not necessarily. Sometimes force is the best way to get through a strong defense. All right, let's start with last night. all those screens at the same time. Huh. When you have to analyze five hours of game highlights a day, you get used to it. Malfunction? Or someone trying to cover their tracks. seem very happy to hold out for the draw. And Super Strikers are desperate to claim a precious home win. Strategy tree. Make dummy runs to open some space in the middle. I'll handle the rest. Super Strikers make attacking runs. But Dancing Rasta can't find the pass. But it's all a setup. And Iron Tank fell for it. <laughs> oh, so close. But Iron Tank's defense is impenetrable. Now, more than ever, Super Strikers need their coach. <sighs> Do you guys remember what we talked about in the first half of the practice? Apparently not, because that was garbage. How'd it go? I think I got my point across. <laughs> Coach, you're up. The halftime speech is one of a coach's most important jobs and your final test. It's funny, you know. I have a speech planned, but it's not for you. 
It's for my team, out there, fighting and struggling without me. And the worst part? I've been set up. The hole in the window, new passwords, missing security footage, you've had a break-in. And my license just happens to expire the day we take on Iron Tank? Read between the lines, people! Hmm. Between the lines? You've reached Coach. Why are you calling me? It's match day. <sighs> Come on, guys! We can't give up now! All we need to do is... Uh... Nope. I got nothing. Man, this coaching thing is tough. Helena? Norman? Unfortunately, you'll have to try again. <laughs> Coach, you did very, very, very well. <gasps> huh? Hey! Aren't you gonna savor the moment or something? We've got five minutes until the second half starts. If I don't get a message to my boys, I've failed as a coach. License or not. Does that mean you found... A way to tear down the Iron Curtain. You two coming? Don't give up, guys. Coach will pull through for us. I know it. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Norman, I want you to sketch out my new game plan. It would be an honor. Helena, find us the quickest way back to strike a land. Already have. I gotta warn you guys, I drive like I coach. We're well into the second half. And it looks like Super Strikers are finally out of ideas. This game's got stalemate written all over it. Rasta, seems it's been a testing time for you. And your coach. Super Strikers are all out of moves. Attack! Suddenly, Iron Tanks bring to life. Can they deliver a sucker punch in the final minutes? But really, Coach only said like four sentences. How is that beating around the bush? Seems pretty to the point if you ask me. Stop obsessing. You always do this. Hold it, Coach. Rule 8.43. Unlicensed coaches may not at oh. Rule number one. Get out of my way. Iron Tank's attack gathers momentum. Wow, talk about fashionably late. But can Coach get his players to finish the game in style? Relax. There's no way he could have come up with a new strategy. Not while doing the test. How's it going, boys? Not so great, Coachman. None of our strategies worked. Well, if going around, over, and through the Iron Curtain didn't work, we're gonna play Between the Lines. Strategy four. Sit in the space between the Iron Curtain's two lines, frustrating the tank and forcing them to make a move. Then, we take the gap. Can Super Strikers do what they failed to all game? Finish the move? They've dropped in between the defensive lines. Uber doesn't know whether to hold his position or go forward. Come on, come on! 
long you have to be a coach for this to stop being so nerve-wracking? Beats me. Enough of this foolishness! But you still have a lot to learn if you want to make it as Super League coaches. Yeah, because going up against coach will be the toughest test of your lives. Welcome to Super League headquarters. Due to a security breach, we've decided to retest all coaches. This is oh, ridiculous! This is Come on! I sympathize. Really, I do. But... The rules are the rules! Match day, and it's one-way traffic at Strikerland. Aye, Brenda. Only 30 minutes gone and Super Strikers are already in the driving seat. Hey, Shakes! Nice goal for the number two striker. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it was pretty good compared to your easy tap-in. <gasps> That's it. Whoever scores the most goals wins. Hey, wait up! It's the 85th minute, and El Matador and Shakes both have a hat trick. Sorry, dude, but it's time to end this. And that it is! Shakes' signature move! What a knuckleball! Yeah! <laughs> I wouldn't want to be Super Striker's next opponent. I, technically, must be shivering in the spandex. Ha! That's what you think. What is think? Something I'm very good at. And something I'm teaching you to do, Paul. So, how's phase one going, Paul? What is Paul? Well, that's you. Positioned apparatus for understanding likely move. I see. What is positioned apparatus for understanding likely move? Oh. You have hours of Shakes and El Matador game footage stored on your hard drive. You can analyze their every gesture, predict their every move, and bring victory to Technicali. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, are you in there? Oh, great. They get so touchy when I bend the rules. Yes? Well, Tony, we're playing Super Strikers in a week and we were wondering if you want to, you know, practice. I think Benedict B. Bradley is a little worried about facing Shakes and El Matador. <sighs> what is practice? Not now, Paul. Hey, who's that? Um, yeah, your new teammate. A talented, uh, goalkeeper. <gasps> oh. Paul, hey. What's his full name? Paul Pinbod, buddy. Uh, pim pim the pim the uh, da, 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 I don't have time for this. Now go do whatever it is you do around here. Hmm. <gasps> I need to get the new guy Super League card. I've got you, Benedict B. Bradley, Thaddeus Farrington the Third, and <laughs> ten of my own cards. <laughs> Pretty lucky, hey? 
Oh, come on! More John J. Johnson Juniors? What a con. There are like five of them in every pack. Virgo. All right, boys. Technicali this weekend. So, Coach, do you really need all of us at practice? These guys are gonna be scoring all the goals anyway. Just because they're in good form doesn't mean the rest of you can slack off. Mm -hmm. Block and North Shaw. <laughs> <laughs> no last minute lucky shot is going to save you this weekend, Shakes. If you really want to score as many goals as me, I can teach you how to do the knuckleball. Ah, I don't need to learn your stupid, flashy, unstoppable move. I've got plenty of my own. All right, all right, you two. I don't mind some healthy rivalry. Just try not to get carried away. Unbelievable, man. A circle, circle. Miko Chen. Passing 86. Pretty good. But not as good as Riano. 89. <laughs> All right. My turn. El Matador. Attack 94. Kablam! Ha <laughs> ha you hear that, Shakes? My Super League card has an attack score of... Shakes, attack 95! Ah. Huh? What? How can this be? <clears throat> Knuckleball! <laughs> Just because Tony doesn't want to practice doesn't mean we can't. Yeah! So we're gonna get on the pitch. Yeah! And no matter what, we're gonna be ready for Super Strikers. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> yeah! Huh? Okay, Paul, let's get to work. Tony's having a private practice? With Paul? Oh. There you are, Paul. One brand new state-of-the-art synthetic eye. So, how do you like the view? What is the view? Oh, shut down while I work on the next phase. What is shut down? John G. Johnson Jr. Attack 35. Ah. Hey, where's the Shakes card? Goggle, goggle. One point. One point, and it's all because of that stupid knuckleball.
Hello, Tony. All right, Paul. Time to test the final phase of my plan. Yes! The magnetic field is stable! Oh, what's that? One of John J. Johnson's stupid cards! That Snoopy Snooper has been snooping around! Hmm... Oh, Paul? Identifying target. Target shakes. Yes! It works! <laughs> what works? Oh, shush! You're ruining my moment! Ba -ba -da -ba! Tony, you're a genius! Ha -ba -da -ba -ba! Gonna beat Super Strikers, win the Super League! Practice for all, not just Paul! Practice for all, not just Paul! What Practice on Paul. earth are you not lot doing? We've had it with you giving Paul, Paul preferential treatment, Paul. Tony. Practice you idiot! Paul is a... Paul is a what? Paul is a... Uh, very sick. He's gone cold, <gasps> turned gray, and he's not moving. So, uh, Tony... I guess that means I'm up? It's what Paul would want. In fact, you should wear his lucky gloves. Now get out there and win this for Paul! Let's do it, guys! Not so fast, John J. Johnson, Jr. I found this on the pitch last night. What were you doing out there? What did you see? You saw nothing, got it? A shakes card? Wow, those are super rare. So you're denying you left it there? I know you're into these things. It wasn't me, Tony. I'd never lose a Super League card. Hmm. So... Can I have it? Yeah, sure, whatever. All right, nobody move. Huh? Our shakes card is officially missing. Goggle, goggle, dog. Don't look at me. The only things I collect are records. <laughs> and I definitely don't need the shakes card. All right, it was me. Huh? I came here last night to practice and might have dropped it on the pitch. What were you practicing? Not a knuckleball shakes. Oh, yeah? Then why did you take my card? Because just seeing you fills me with the righteous anger I need to stay motivated! Come on, dude! Maybe the card's still out there! <laughs> hey! Where'd you get that card? Tony gave it to me. Hate to break it to you, dude, but I think that's ours. Can you prove it? <sighs> no. Zerkablog. Tell you what, I'll swap it for a Paul card. A uh, who card? Paul, our new goalie. What does he look like? Well, he, uh, uh, I, I don't know. He spends all his time hanging out in Tony's lab. <laughs> Lucky. How about you trade us the Shakes card for, say, 20 John J. Johnson Jr. cards? Hmm. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> Suckers. Okay. You ready to take on Shakes and El Matador, Paul? Yes. Really? Yes, I am ready. No questions at all? No, I'm good. Ha <laughs> ha! Now witness the power of this fully operational Paul! Game on! Great start!
start from the men in yellow. But Flock cuts out the danger. Oh! Now Super Strike has counterattack! You can do this, Benedict. Tony's relying on you. Paul believes in you. Twisting Tiger sent to the cross. Shakes is there! Target shakes. Determining move. No moves. Scorpion kick. Knuckleball. Bicycle kick. Move identified. Bicycle kick. What a shot! Huh? Huh? Ah! The chase is denied by Benedict B. Bradley! <gasps> These really are lucky gloves! Sheesh. This is gonna be harder than we thought. Yeah, keep telling yourself that, Shakes. I'll be busy scoring the goals. Knuckle down and score a goal, El Matador. I don't need your move, Shakes. Or your punch. Unbelievable! Benedict B. Bradley has stopped the knuckleball. <sighs> the chips are down. Your teammates have failed, especially Shakes. There's only one thing to do. The knuckleball? No. The knock. L. Ball. He shoots! Oh, but Bradley doesn't read this one. He's frozen on the spot. Oh, so close. Shakes picks up the rebound. But there's the half-time whistle. Oh, oh, yeah. Way to go, Bradley! <laughs> what? Shut down! Shut down! Did you guys see that? Benedict's goalie gloves. I I think I saw them move by themselves. Are you being Dude, serious, Shakes, brother? Maybe you're just making excuses because you couldn't score. Uh, neither could you. Totally besides the point. The circle's like a blogger. Yeah, they need to update Benedict B. Bradley's Super League card. That dude should have a way higher score. I don't know why Tony Vern bothered hiring a new goalie. W what new goalie? Bobby. Yeah, some guy called Paul. Well, he can't be very good if he didn't even make the bench. Apparently, he only hangs out in Tony's lab. Hello? Paul? You here? What is here? Uh, in this room? My core hardware is located here. Paul? Yes. Are you a computer? My designation is Positioned Apparatus for Understanding Likely Move. That's it! What is it? Oh, oh, you so, sure you 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 great. so you're saying Bradley's being controlled by his gloves? Kind of. It's all linked up to a supercomputer that can predict our moves. Why didn't the computer predict my knock elbow? Bradley was frozen on the spot! That's because it's not your move. It's not the knuckle ball. It's the knock elbow. Totally different. Think about it. 
Paul predicted me doing my moves, you doing your moves. But it didn't predict El Matador doing your moves. Exactly! So the solution is simple. Shakes teaches El Matador the knuckleball. Ain't gonna happen. Come on, do it for the team. The fans? The badge? Do it because it's your one chance to beat Shakes. The second half is underway, and Super Strikers are on the attack. Shakes lines up his shot, but Bradley has stopped everything they've thrown at him today. All yours, dude! Oh, but it's actually an assist! El Matador comes running into the box and... Identifying target. Target, El Matador. No moves. Rainbow, El Toro, Heel Kick. Move, not found. Move, not found. Predict this! I did it? I did it! <laughs> of course I did it. <laughs> Nice one, dude! You totally win this round. Actually, I'd say it's a draw. Sometimes the assist makes the goal. Woohoo! Yes, <laughs> right, yes. oh. <laughs> All that money wasted on a stupid, annoying machine! Target, Tony Vern. No moves. Inventing. Failure. Impulsive decisions. I'm going to turn you into a vacuum cleaner, you stupid bucket of bolts! Course of action. Self-defense. <laughs> what? Happening? 